on behalf of my uh, 12 brothers that are with me to hear confessions today. We are going to be doing that and they will be explaining further as you go in different shifts to which directions, but I want to introduce them to you, let you know where they will be stationed, and then the opportunities that you'll have during your different specific times for uh, the opportunity of the Sacrament of Reconciliation. Before we get into the, the introduction, I just want to remind you that uh, the sacrament is not a counseling session, and especially with the numbers that we have here of close to 800 and there's only 12 of us, we're not going to have time to tarry. <laughs> uh, we don't need descriptions. Uh, we don't need explanations. I would invite you just, if you would, to probably present maybe the two or three sins that weigh heaviest on your mind and heart and know that probably the rest of those will fall under those different categories at any rate. Uh, we invite you also to make the act of contrition before you come into the sacrament. Uh, then you'll receive, uh, if you would, as you enter into the sacrament, let the priest know how long it has been since your last confession. Then he'll hear your confession, give you individual absolution, and, uh, and then uh, penance assigned to you in that regard and the opportunity to come back into the sanctuary for the Blessed Sacrament to offer that opportunity. I personally just want to thank you on behalf of the clergy of the diocese, uh, both bishops Desitel and Farrell, to uh, thank you for your presence here. Uh, it's not only what you say and do here, more importantly, it's going, to what it's going to be what happens once you leave here today and the seed that you have an opportunity to plant into the lives of your families and your friends and your, and your places of work, the other lives that you'll touch that have been graced by what you experience here today. So I want to thank you for that. Let me see if I, can, uh, if I can invite the clergy up a little bit closer now so I can see who I'm introducing here. I'll know. Let me get their stations correct. Father Marco will be over in the confessional over here. Father Don Zeeler, he'll be back over here. Father Andrew Simler, I think, what is the name saying up there? I can't read. Oh, or who is it? Father Andrew. Okay. Yeah. So you'll be back there. And then uh, for Father Sinu, you'll be back over here. And I think our last station is over there. So number five is going to be Father Toshio. You'll be behind that wall over there. Father, uh, Father Jim Ballant, our pastor emeritus of Prince of Peace, is going to be in the reconciliation room, which is kind of, as you see that uh, pillar, somebody's pointing to it now, kind of, you'll see him heading in that direction. I will be in the uh, Eucharistic Chapel hearing reconciliation. And then uh, the rest of you are going to have to work for it. Um, if you go down the hallway, uh, that you know where you registered this morning, where they've got the display set up. There's a hallway perpendicular to that. If you go down that hallway, you will see different uh, names and uh, re reconciliation opportunities there. Uh, so Bill, uh, uh, Hewitt, there you are. Uh, you're going to be in classroom 110. And then Father Leo, you're going to be in classroom 111. Um, Let's see, who do I have? Father Jonathan, you are in classroom 108. And then Father Joseph Meehan in classroom 107. So all the rest will be in this general area and those four will be down in, um, in that classroom perpendicular uh, to that. So we'll leave it up to your different directors to now let you know where you'll be heading. Those of you that are in the church area, once you are dismissed, if you would make sure that you kind of clear the areas that are near those reconciliation areas to kind of move up some uh, to preserve the sense of confidentiality, that would be appreciated as well. But thanks, God bless you, and we'll see you in the sacrament. Thank you, Father.